it up on stage Pantera are preparing to get far beyond driven for their appearance at Donington 94 and as you can see I'm joined by Vinny and Dime, Dimebag and uh, I'm very pleased to see you guys Thanks. again and I must say first of all congratulations for your number one album Far Beyond Driven yeah. in America fantastic thank achievement you. well done thank you very much uh, you know it just proves that four years of non-stop touring for the last two albums we've really developed a loyal fan base and they went out and made the record number one and we appreciate the fans did well here in the UK it too. Did, did. very well did indeed. we love it Thank you. and uh, you're here at Donington 94 and I'm very glad to see you guys here definitely adding some much-needed heaviness to the bill um, but we'll backtrack a little bit because you have been touring um, the States uh, for the album Far Beyond Driven I was just wondering how did the dates go and how did they serve as a preparation for Donington well we just took off and had to get it together because we started fresh, you know, from sitting around doing the record in the studio. Everything came together good, just did Japan, stopped in, did Hawaii, had a little small vacation, 
And uh, here, we're, we are. here we are. We're psyched for it, man. You know? Looking forward to it. This is the uh, only European date till September. Yeah. So, you know, hopefully it'll tie the people over till we get back. Yeah, but I mean, how do you feel about having to present the new material from Far Beyond Driven in a festival environment? Well, we're going to mix it up. We're going to do a lot of the stuff off of Vulgar, a lot of stuff off of Cowboys, and some of the new stuff. Obviously, if it was a headline situation and we knew it was our audience, we'd do a lot more of the new stuff yeah. because they would know exactly. it. But uh, right now, you know, we're going to do the stuff that we feel like the people know the best, break them in on some of the new stuff, and then when we come back in September, we'll give you a full dose of Far Beyond Driven. Yeah! Good. I like the sound of that. Now, Donington does have this amazing reputation for being the most prestigious metal event in Europe, and I was just wondering, what does it really mean to you guys coming from America? What stories did you heard before you came over all sorts of stuff man it's like you know we did russian that was the biggest thing yeah. so far for us and then we heard all about this i've been hearing about this since i was like 10 years old so i'm just gonna go with it yeah, yeah it's yeah, cool yeah. yeah it's one of those things that you don't realize the magnitude of it till you're done with it yeah. you know because when you're on stage it's just a show and you want to make sure you're man. kicking then when it's over and you see it all back on videotape you go wow there it was you know another major event you know yeah. Because you mentioned there that you did play the Monsters in Moscow in 91, mm -hmm. um, which must have been like a fantastic experience, and I'm sure you've got many good memories from that. But um, what kind of uh, experiences did you uh, have there, and what did you learn from that that you'll be putting into good use today? Go straight with it, man. And uh, that Watch out for the piss jugs. Hard, hard rock, hard rock, and English is the universal language for hard rock. Right, you know, we played right. in Russian, nobody understood a word we said, but the music... They got it, you know, exactly. and that's great. That's one of the things we learned, definitely. And I mean, another fantastic thing about Far Beyond Driven is that you've achieved the success um, completely without compromising. You've never compromised along the, along the way, so that must just make it so just all the more satisfying. Absolutely. Absolutely. You said it in a nutshell. You said it. I mean, you know, a lot of people thought after Vulgar Display of Power, there's no way we could top the record. We'd commercialize the sound, sell out, you know, to sell four million records overnight. No way. We made this record for you, the fans, and for ourselves. And that's it, man. Totally uncompromised. Okay, well, we will talk to Vinny and Dimebag some more very, very shortly. But right now, we are going to check out Pantera live on stage at Donington Monsters of Rock 94. Check this out.
still with me backstage at Donington 94. Vinny and Dimebag are here. We're talking some more about Far Beyond Driven and uh, we have been talking about the success of the new record. But with success, as I'm sure you're beginning to realise now, come a whole new different set of pressures. Now, what are your experiences uh, of those and how are you dealing with them? Well, obviously, more people want to be around you, more people want to come to the shows, more people want to do interviews, more people want to hang, they want a piece of what's going on more and more, and you just, you know, you get less and less time to spend with each, each person, so that makes it really difficult in a way that, you know, you can't be as personal as you want to, but we do our best to stay totally down to earth, you know, none of us have changed, just the circumstances around us, and, you know, we'll give everybody as much time as we can, you know, without taking every bit of time away from ourselves, you know. Try to spend the time off, you know, for yourself a little more, you know, hanging out, doing some stuff away from just, you know, huge crowds and hanging out all the time. That's what I've been into lately and, uh, of course, drinking some cold beer. <laughs> of course, that goes without saying. Um, and I guess Phil, as the focal point of the band also, I'm sure he's beginning to realise that people are now kind of looking at you under a microscope and analysing right. <laughs> everything that you say and do. Yeah. Well, it's it's... People have done it before, but now there's new people doing it. People in, you know, larger syndications or TV shows and stuff. And, you know, they get a very misconception of the band because they take a brief look at it and they make their judgments real quick without really, you know, studying and find out, finding out what we're really like, you know. So that's, that's kind of a bummer, but, hey, we too bad. No, you know, we ain't no different now than we were five years ago, you know. Oh, what is that necklace you're wearing? You know, right, right, right. you know, ain't nothing happening. And I think it's great if also if you can rely on the the friendships within the band as well, just so that you always know, you know, keep your feet on the ground and stand together. Right, right. This is a band. You know, yeah. that's the most important thing about it. You know, it takes all four of us to do what we do. We all four write the songs. We all four participate in all of it. And I think that's one of the things that the audience really likes when they come see us. They know he's going to be playing guitar. It ain't somebody else. You know, it's not like we're going to hire somebody next week or there's going to be a different singer or somebody up there. It's Pantera, the four guys that you know now. Yeah, the four guys we know and love here at Headbangers Ball. Now, um, you, you guys, you're one of the few bands, and this is something else that I really admire you for, you're one of the few bands that actually stand up and say, we are heavy metal, because that seems to be a real uncool thing to say at the moment. Now, it's, I mean, I just think that's all part of the honesty of the band, that you're prepared to stand up and be counted. Well, you can hear our stuff, you can hear one note, and you know it's Pantera. We grew up on, you know, Black heavy Sabbath. metal roots, Black Sabbath, Judas Priest, Judas Priest British Steel, you English know. English metal, you know, the English, yeah. the, the good old stuff, Iron Maiden, all that good stuff, man. All the bands that have played here, in fact. There you go. It's back so, to the uh, categorizing stuff, though, you know, I mean, whatever. You know, that, Is it, those are our that, roots, you know? know, those are our roots, and that's what what we are you know it's kind of cool to claim you're something else I mean alternatives in right now it's really cool to claim your alternative you get a built-in audience when you claim that but you know we're heavy metal and we're not ashamed to say it that's Good. what we do Good. Now we'll talk a little bit quickly about the current single Five Minutes Alone and there is a fantastic video which you saw yes. on Headbangers Ball last week and I really like all the guitar, um, the strings cool. bending, that's very cool. good. That's your boy's concept right yeah. there, his Brilliant. concept. Now why um, you included some badges with that um, single to make it ineligible to be uh, included on charts, now why did you do that? Now what did we the include? Badge, oh the, the badge. badge. Oh. The badge. No, the, on the single format there were some badges included. Oh there's actually some badges? Yes. I don't well, know. We didn't what, even know about it. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. We live in the United States. We don't know nothing about what the record company does over here. Fill me in. Up, fill me in. What's well, it was made it ineligible for inclusion on the charts, so I just wondered if there was some kind of important statement ineligible? there. Ineligible? Nah, I don't know. As long as people like it, that's all that matters. <laughs> but The Badge is the your badge. cover version of the yeah. Poison Idea Classic, yeah. which is on The Crow, yeah. which is number one album in America this week as well. We've had two, two number, number one records one. this year. So whose idea was to do that? Phil's idea. Yeah, yeah. It's like on his jam tape that we warm up to backstage, and he said, "Man, we got to cover that song." I listened to it, and I said, "We could do that." You know, it's got a real good old punk hardcore vibe to it. We did that whole thing in about six hours, knocked it out, left it raw and straight up, and you know, it's, it's he cool. Engineered, mixed the whole thing. Just it was fun. Do it and get we out. We did it, and it's done. You know, we might we might even start doing it in the set since the record's actually doing good. I like to, man. A lot of kids said a lot of stuff about it. You know. Okay. Well, you mentioned there, I think, that you're coming back to Europe in yeah. September. That's yeah. going to be a headlining Absolutely. scenario. Yeah. When we leave here, we do our first arena headline tour in the States. We've got Sepultura, Biohazard, and Prong supporting us. 
Awesome, Bill. When we come back to Europe in September, hopefully we'll be able to bring something equally as strong. Yeah. I know we're doing a couple festivals in Germany and uh, maybe one up in Holland or something like that. So uh, look for us, September and October, all over Europe. Very extensive tour. Excellent. Okay, well, you're about to go on stage in yeah. just uh, half an hour or so. So final thoughts as you uh, prepare for Donington Meltdown. It's nice and rainy, it's nice and cold, but that ain't going to slow us down. We're going to get up there and heat this mother up. Light it up! Yeah. Go through it! Those guys said it. Well, thanks very much to Vinny and Dimebag. It's always a pleasure to talk to you guys and well done on the record. Well deserved indeed. And we're going to see a little bit of Pantera live at Donington right now for you. And then after that, we're going into another short break. And uh, you should stay tuned because uh, we're going to be very shortly bringing you all the action from the new talent stage headlined by the Wild Hearts. So check out Pantera live at Donington and stay tuned for some new talent debuting here at Donington 94. See you later. You'll see these guys on tour in September. That's Good luck. Over. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, I love you, no! 